Sometimes I wonder how people leave their cars on in the parking lot. I hope their battery doesn't die or they run out of gas. Is this an electric car? It's a Nissan Rogue. Dang. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Before we hop into today's video, I actually ran on into one of you. We got Blake here. Hey, guys. Blake is uh, scanning on in and going to Park Hop and enjoy his lovely day. But thanks for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else? You got anything? No, that's all. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, let's go have a wild day. Welcome to Animal Kingdom and welcome back to Disney World, guys. We're back after the cruise series. Thanks for that. That was one of our best series of the year. Looks like we still got the walls up here out of Joffrey's and I heard this is actually just a concrete wall. Or sorry, they're actually just doing concrete here. Oh, we got a big party headed on in here. Wow, it's like a big tour group. But apparently this is actually just concrete work and they're not extending Joffrey's. We'll have to keep an eye on it. But we do have tons of updates here at Animal Kingdom. Obviously Dinosaur, you know, Dinoland USA is pretty much gonna be extinct. We'll find out some announcements probably soon. But I'll let you guys know what I know today. And also, the Harambe Marketplace has an opening as well. It does seem like we kind of have a nice little gap between spring break crowds. We'll see that probably start to pick up at the end of the month here and carrying on into April when a lot of those coming up from the Midwest and I think Texas also has spring break starting in April, but it doesn't seem as bad. Today I was able to actually buy Avatar Flight of Passage this morning for any time I wanted, any time I wanted. But we do have a flood, you know, of guests coming on in here as you saw that big tour group it's 9 30 here as we're getting our day started just looking at the map we kind of have a series on un of unfortunate events flight of passage is down that is not good safaris obviously is carrying the weight of the park right now cool and of course dinoland has got nothing however well, let's go Welcome back to Disney World. Kind of smells like penguins outside. Doesn't smell great. You know, if we're talking like future of Animal Kingdom, maybe just maybe they'll use this as a way to get on in to what is coming in the future once Dinoland gets demolished here. And yes, I really feel like that is happening. If you guys didn't see, there is some breaking permits filed to get rid, oh, or speculation to probably get rid of Dinoland. Before we hop on into these massive updates to Animal Kingdom, we do kind of have some general announcements since we did just get off the Wish. The Wish, the movie, you know, the, you know, was Asha. It's finally coming to Disney Plus April 3rd, April 4th, I believe. April 3rd is the official date. We'll see that release on Disney Plus, which if you guys know, I've been waiting that for a while to watch it on Disney Plus. So that's exciting news. And since we did just get off the wish again, we have another cruise line announcement. The sister ship to the Disney Wish and Disney Treasure. The third ship has just been named. And that ship is going to be the Disney Destiny and it's all gonna be about heroes and villains. I know Olaf isn't a villain, but he's the closest character I could find. And that ship will be coming in 2025, the sh third ship to arrive right after the treasure. I'm assuming it's gonna be probably December, just like the, the treasure's gonna be coming to life here, December 2024. But can we um, thumbs up the video just in appreciation of, of Disney announcing all of this like, news? This has been a while since we kind of had announcements just like we're seeing right now, which is wonderful. You know what else is wonderful? This view is pretty darn wonderful. Let's head on over to Dinoland USA real quick. Let's talk about that. With this time that we are here, it is very eerie seeing Animal Kingdom not really too snabby here. Not really snabby. And it does make sense because in this park, everybody, everybody wants to go left. The only thing to the right here worthwhile, we're rope dropping, or just being here in the morning is, is Everest, but yet that's gonna be a walk on until like 10. Now, I do want to say this is all speculation, but it is kind of promising if you are looking forward to Dinoland being eventually extinct and something else will be 
pretty much on the horizon. My guess is we gotta wait until D23 in August to actually get an update, but permits have just been filed for an area backstage that's about five acres of land for trailers and improvements of the road that lead directly to Dinoland USA. And that wouldn't be just for anything. It pretty much, um, I don't know anything, but I'm 90% 90, 90 sure this is going to be for Dino Land, obviously because, you know, Disney has made announcements in the past about what they want to build here inside Dino Land USA. I'd be very surprised if they do announce something before D23, as I believe this is going to be the, be the year of D23 in California where big announcements are made. For sure, without a doubt. Who knows, maybe when um, Dinoland does become extinct, they'll find some bones, you know, fossils, actually the right term is, of other dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously one of the biggest draws to Dinoland USA is dinosaur, and you know, I've done some snooping online. Now if we're looking at the concept art that Disney has released in the past, I believe in this area, we might be getting some Coco type attraction. Have no idea what that's going to be. But let me show you what's here right now at the moment. It's unfortunate for kiddos because this really is a fun place for kids. I wanna head on in here real quick. I mean, as you can see, it's a, it's a paradise for kids. What could this be? Coco themed? Again, this is just all speculation of rumors online. It could all change, you know, at any point. I never knew this. This is even cool for me. So if there's a Coco themed area, maybe this will be like like a really beautiful graveyard scene where they still have like a walkthrough course just themed differently than than dinosaurs. We'll we'll find out hopefully soon. Like even look at these slides. They I've never really spent time in here because you don't have any kids. But like look at that. You go through rocks. Slides look legit. I hope they keep some concept like this because they could definitely do this for just a different theming of a movie, you know? And then of course, across the way, we have the dig site. We gotta work a way to get to that. So definitely for a kid, this is kind of sad news. I'm actually feeling a little sad now just, just for the kids. So hopefully this does remain something sort of kind of like this concept, but I'm open to anything else. I'm just praying for some concrete announcements rather than the speculations on what we have right now. But this pretty much leads to Dinoland USA leaving sometime, probably sometime soon. I could see them closing it sometime this year. Who knows? There's kids over there digging, so I'm not going to film it. I didn't really expect for anybody to be over there, but there actually is a couple families over here digging for fossils. That was actually pretty darn cute to see. Okay, let's head on a little bit deeper here and look at the concept art that is on your screen right now. Now, even though this is concept art and just ideas, it can all change. But still, real quick, just focusing on this area, if you look at the concept art, doesn't it kind of look like a carousel type attraction? It really kind of does. I don't know what it's going to be. So hopefully it's not something like that and we keep something interactive or something brand new that we've never seen before. But that's not gonna be like an e-ticket or anything special as like a playground is. Referring to the concept art, it looks like they're gonna like pretty much open this whole area right here. So this area where an alligator, or I think it's actually a crocodile lives is probably gonna get demolished. And it's gonna be kind of like the Magic Kingdom hub in a way and there might be a fountain that's gonna take this place, which will pretty much open up the area itself. Coming on over to the right, it looks like Dino Bite Snacks. I mean, all this is gonna obviously be rethemed to what they're gonna be doing in the future, but this is all going to probably stay food from what it looks like. They could surprise us with an attraction, but I kind of feel like this is still gonna be all food. And yeah, right here is an American crocodile where he or she just chills right there all day. Maybe in the future they're gonna put them in, or her, in the safaris. Cause I think what they do is they actually take one out and they spend a little time here in isolation. And they kind of transfer in between them. I don't know, honestly. For the amount of times I come here to Disney's Animal Kingdom, I should have known that this is an American crocodile, but the one in safaris is actually a Nile crocodile. So two different species, so that's why this one is isolated. They wouldn't get along very well. Yeah, 
So moving on, this is obviously all going to go away, which is kind of sad, you know, just because like the Imagineers who obviously made Dinoland, they did such a good job. I don't know what the theming of the food's gonna be. It might be an IP. Who knows? Could be Coco themed. Who knows? I don't really know. It would be cool if they brought Zootopia in this section. Wouldn't it? It's not really food time, so it's kind of vacant. Possibly the biggest news and speculation is what is gonna be replacing Dinosaur. I mean, Disney kinda has already hinted, sort of kinda told us in a way, but not really. A lot of people are thinking it's going to be something along the lines of Indiana Jones. It may be a carbon copy of Disneyland, but I don't think it's essentially going to be. It's also a five minute wait, so we're definitely gonna go on Dinosaur. But if you remember when we were walking on into the park, imagine if they connected that gate to this gate because you can actually get from here backstage to the front of the park relatively fast. Will they do that? Probably not. Would it be cool? Absolutely. However, moving on into Dinosaur, the rumor on the mill is it's Indiana Jones. And how do we actually feel about Dinoland leaving? And how do we feel about this potentially being Indiana Jones and Indiana Jones Adventure? I feel like it's going to be a big draw to the park as it is at Disneyland. It wouldn't really appeal to me as greatly if it's a carbon copy of Disneyland's. Let's head on Dinosaur and let's enjoy it. Because it could be one of our last times enjoying Dinosaur before he becomes extinct. So the line is in the museum. It's pretty much a walk on at 10 o'clock. Also, by the way, I am by no means an expert on this. I'm just giving you my, my thoughts and my opinions and speculations on what I've learned and what it could be. So please know saying I am wrong because there has been no concrete updates or announcements. So pretty much everybody could be wrong at this point. The controller and a heck of a paleontologist if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. Now this is definitely not gonna be our last time on Dinosaur, but it is now has a, having a countdown. It will be one of the last times we do go on it as Disney hopefully will make an announcement sometime this year of the closing of Dinosaur. I mean, if you, as you look at it too, Animal Kingdom is the most struggling park here at Disney World with, without a doubt, as we are kind of in spring break and the park has been open for a while already. We just waited five minutes for a marquee attraction. Commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab your water gun, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll. Get me off. The ride is terrifying. Any, every time I go on it. All I can say is whatever replaces dinosaur, hopefully it's smoother 
and brighter. I know I go on that ride a lot, but it always does feel like the first time because this ride always terrifies me, without a doubt. One of the questions I have is, once I go through with this, how long is it going to take? Hopefully not five years, maybe two years? One year? I don't know, hopefully they go to the speed of Epic Universe. It would be needed fast. I don't know how long it would take. I mean, these don't even work anymore. It goes right on your, your magic band. Kind of not really a need for this. I do like it how it automatically links without looking at it. And if you also look at the concept art, this is going to be like a temple. It will be pretty cool. Imagine the lines on opening day, but hopefully we do get an announcement soon. But I'm telling you with those trailers, that is pretty much a good sign. Something will be happening and they have been moving forward because they, that's like the first step. They got to build the space for the trailers and the construction to be able to easily access Dinosaur because if you look behind Dinosaur, you can't really build anything for construction because there's like a lake behind. So that's why if you're wondering why they're building that, it's because they need the room too. We do have a really nice spring break crowd. This is kind of like a break into it. I'm filming this, by the way, on Thursday, March 21st. When you guys see this video, it will be tomorrow on March 25th. It'll be Casey's birthday, so I'm gonna drop her, her Instagram in this video. You guys could follow her as like a birthday gift and go on her pictures, DM her, and wish her like a happy birthday. She'll be turning 27. Moving on into this area, I'm kind of just speculating that this is gonna remain and Triceratops spin. Obviously all this is getting removed, but I think just looking on the map, this is gonna become like a wooded type foresty area and then you'll be able to see Encanto's house in the back. It's kind of like you gotta go through that forest, like the movie, to get on to the magical house that is. Pretty much this is gonna remain merchandise because there is a building there. It could be food, but I guarantee it'll be merchandise as Donald Duck is making his way to his meet and greet. But this is gonna become like a, just like a walk through beautiful kind of scenic area. Again, all speculation, all could change. And the house is gonna be placed back there and there's actually some room that they can they can build backstage which is obviously where it's gonna house hopefully an e-ticket attraction one of the best and the biggest that they can actually make well it is the the biggest and the one that has the highest budget at Disney we'll find more out at D23 hopefully or maybe potentially early but I guarantee we're gonna get some concrete updates on what's coming next year and when it is moving forward Hopefully it's quick, it'd be nice. But time is limited now, because it pretty much is, good morning, gonna be coming, good. I will say I never really kinda go back in this way to kinda look at those cool billboards. I love those billboards, but if you're wondering what used to be here, Primeval World, this has been vacant forever. Literally forever. This section is just an area for cast members to get backstage but these never really get any love like look how cool that is the dino institute i think once we get a real opening date or sorry like a closing date we're not gonna get an opening date probably for what's to come in the future for a while i don't know they could surprise us when it is coming i'll probably do like a walkthrough of a last documentation of of Dino Land. It kind of is sad because this is my childhood. Hopefully they have some things for kids here too. Maybe they'll have Encanto themed arcade games in there. I don't know, like magical ones. It's hard to see. All speculation. But I had to come here and update y'all. We've had a lot while we were on the cruise. Anyways, a beautiful day we have. It's still low 60s. Let's venture on through Animal Kingdom. Ooh, what a day for updates upon it, filming this on Thursday. Some big news regarding Epcot actually has just been announced. Community Core Hall will officially be open this summer, June 10th. Epcot will be restored, no walls, and all completed. Wow, oh wow. Obviously it's going to be a little late for you guys, but hey, what a mass update vlog do we have here. Now inside that space, it's gonna be a permanent meet and greet with Mickey and Minnie Mouse and friends will be in the community hall, as well as I believe a D23 
demo kitchen, I think they announced. Some space for galleries and a mixology bar are all going to be on over there. And I believe a new Encanto show will also be debuting on June 10th as well. What a good time for Disney. This is, this is great. I feel like Disney's kind of getting back to like what we're used to with them, you know? Keep in mind too, we still need to go on over to Africa because the new Harambe Marketplace little area has finally opened. So let's go check that out. All I gotta say, this, this crowd isn't bad. Not at all. About a week ago, we were seeing the line for Everest be a way outside of its queue. It's only a posted 20 minute wait here at 11. Not too snappy. By the way, Cali River Rapids is now open from their refurbishment. What's a really cool fun fact about Cali River Rapids is I believe every day it costs about $40,000 to start up the attraction. At least that was way back in, I think 2013. So the price has probably gone up, but yeah, Cali's open from its annual refurbishment. Flight of Passage did just come up. The nice thing is that we kind of have that individual landing lane we can use anytime now. So we don't have to hit our window when your traction goes down. You don't have to worry about hitting your window. You can pretty much go whenever you want, which is kind of clutch. So sometimes when a ride goes down, it's, it's nice. But also if you need it to be open when you need it to, it's not nice. Ooh, it smells so good. I love Yak and Yeti. I kind of missed the area where we just were in Dinoland USA to talk about this. It just kind of sparked in my mind. But it really would be nice if they brought Zootopia in where Encanto was and just built something so cool with Zootopia. It's not going to happen, but maybe it will. I was kind of hoping more for Zootopia. However, Zootopia, I believe, is getting that new show inside the Tree of Life. But they're not getting a land. Because Bug's Life is also terrifying for kids. Hey, ducks. What are you guys doing? They see popcorn. So I guess maybe we'll get kind of like a huge dual announcement about Animal Kingdom. We'll get like when the transformation of the Tree of Life is getting transformed. I don't know how long that will take from Bugs Life to Zootopia. But you think about it, it's kind of a nice little twist. Bugs Life versus Zootopia. I mean, Zootopia makes sense for the Tree of Life. I like that change. Okay, we made it to Africa and for, I feel like it was like nine, 10 months of construction, we finally have the new seating area. Ooh, not too many people utilizing it either. Oh, it's actually way more themed than I thought it was going to be. Got the thatched roof, whole new greenery. Oh, is that a ladder over there? That's a cool little touch. I do want to film this area before people start bringing their food over, but here we are. It's about time she has opened. Oh, some very pretty lights. Too bad we won't really get to utilize that here at Animal Kingdom because it closes pretty much before it gets dark out. But during the busy months, even though right now is a bit, oh, that's cool, like the wood carved. Technically, this is a busy month in a way. Let's head on in here just to kind of see everything. Like the wood, the wood uh, columns holding it up have actually a lot of detail. That's nice to see since Animal Kingdom is a pretty detailed park. They did a good job. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 20 tables here. Good chunk. Got fans as well. As you know, it does get really hot here in Florida. Concrete's nice. And this kind of just flows on in to over here. We haven't really been able to look at this very close. That's really detailed. Love to see that. Love to see that. Do you have forks? Let's look like forks. Yep, forks, napkins. I mean, what do you guys think? I know it's just like a seating area. Definitely was needed at that. Nice. We got over here cactuses. 
some pots. Sweet. I feel like it gets my stamp of approval. I mean, I'm not really a very tough critic Disney fan. I'm always happy to just kind of get new things and things being updated. So there she is. This is what I'm talking about. They actually have like these type ladder things and vines growing on it. This side and there's one on the other side. Let's actually walk over there. I always keep it rolling because I feel like it's a lot easier to kind of see where I am in the park. Makes it feel like you guys are right here with me. Some beautiful shots actually of the tree of life. Kind of, just a trunk. And then here's this side. There's another one of those ladder vines here too. Cool, cool, cool. Can't wait till they start getting new lands. <laughs> Instead of like seating areas. If I'm excited for this, wait till you see a, a new land. Probably wouldn't be able to control my energy. I don't think this is new. If it is, they aged it really cool. I mean, everything is kind of aged and themed to Africa, obviously, because we are in Africa, after all. Fence is even detailed too with some carvings. Bingo. Honored with the show. You can see where the crowds are. We found them. I mean, they're always over here. Safaris has, I believe, a 60 minute wait. Probably only 40 though. Definitely a different area. Or different crowd tendencies here. It's kind of crazy. There's even a pretty long line for a breakfast this morning. We are now gonna head on over to Fleta Passage. I'm gonna get on that bad boy. I think it was $17 per person today after tax. I think $17.10. But I had everything available and you can still purchase it right now. So that's how you know it's really not that bad of a day either. You know, it was kind of nice being on the other side of the park. I literally felt like I was the only one in the park. Just go to the other half and you'll experience more. But it's really not that bad today. You know what actually? I'm gonna go to the Nomad's Lounge. Just to get a few quick bites here. And then we'll head. Unless this is already full. Let me do this. Scratch that, they're full. I mean, last time we were here we did see a lot of people rope dropping this. People really do like their Nomad's Lounge and yes, they are full. I mean, it's 11.30, so makes sense. I still can't really believe on how big of a day today really has been without actually knowing it was going to be with the announcements of Epcot. Like, that's huge. That is huge. With that, let's go on flight. The ride that never gets old as many times as you go on it. You know, too, just maybe, just maybe, we'll see an expansion of Avatar, too. What if they expand Pandora? I'd be here for that. How in the world is it only a 45 minute wait? Today's wild. You know, that is, this is like a clear reason why on, um, when I went to Epcot, I uh, was commenting about how the crowds have been really misleading on how there were some videos showing the parks really crazy. I mean, it's been pretty mild. Hasn't been that bad. I mean, this is almost noon. And look at this. It's even lower than what we saw last time we were here. They're not even in the cave. Could possibly even be like a 20 minute wait for some of these people. What is going on? It's almost noon. Wow. Siva Co. I actually just talked to the cast member. I'm like, what is going on? She's like, yeah, we thought it was going to be crazy because they were down for, for a long time. But she said it's a walk-on. It's not even a 45 minute wait. So I guess if you see 45 minute wait, check to see if it's a walk-on. Cause she's like, it's a walk-on and we're enjoying it. This is awesome. Good to see all these people just walk through the line and surprise, walk-on. Crazy. If you have a fear of heights, prone to motion sickness, or need to experience a bite for that time and need to opt out, please let me know in the next room. My one through eight is gonna follow me first. Nine Shout out to Lawrence. He watches the videos, the cast member down there. Put on your flight visors.
that water is working really good. And off we go. All I gotta say is a week before Easter, come the week before Easter because next weekend's gonna be slammed. Animal Kingdom is still the last park to have these social distance meet and greets. Gotta bring the regular ones back. You know, I was gonna get some lunch inside at the parks. Now, normally I kind of save like these outside restaurants for like a, a vlog outside of Disney World. But I want to take you to Celebration. There's actually a new place that just opened that I want to show you guys. It's literally right next to Disney World Celebration, right next to where I live. And it's really, really good. It's called Slim Chickens. Slim Chickens. I got two lanes for the drive through I've never been through the drive through I've only been here once, and it's so good. Da, 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 da. What do I want? What do I want? Slam chickens. Obviously, this is not the healthiest of food. Slim chickens, that is. I think it's a relatively like kind of known chicken place. So if you've ever been here, let me know down below. And if you're ever in celebration, it's brand new. It's good. I had it like once. They only give me one ranch, really? And this is what it looks like. It comes with bread, forgot about that. But mango habanero, I like to get mine tossed, the french fries, but it's, it's so delicious. It's really, really good. I got home just in time for March Madness. Hopefully Marquette and the, the Badgers, Wisconsin, win their games and they go far. However, everybody, this is gonna be it for your daily dose. If you could wish Casey a happy birthday tomorrow on Instagram, that would probably mean the world to her. Um, anyway, if you guys just wanna go give her a follow her, she'd greatly appreciate that. But with that, we're back at Disney. We have a fun one for you tomorrow. We got some very fun weekend plans, even though you guys have seen this on Sunday. Hope you guys had a good, good Sunday, and um, we'll see you tomorrow on Monday. Bye-bye. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around.